Have you ever wondered what is the cost of human progress? What have we gained and lost by modernization? A pastor named Dr. Bob Moore had answered this question eloquently in an essay titled The Paradox of Our Age, and I really hope you like this version of it. The paradox of our time in history is that we have taller buildings but shorter tempers, wider freeways but narrower viewpoints, we spend more but have less, we buy more but enjoy less, we have bigger houses and smaller families, more conveniences but less time, we have more degrees but less sense, more knowledge but less judgment, more experts and yet more problems, more medicine but less wellness. We drink too much, smoke too much, spend too recklessly, laugh too little, drive too fast, get too angry, stay up too late, get up too tired, read too little, watch TV too much, and pray too seldom. We have multiplied our possessions but reduced our values. We talk too much, love too seldom, and hate too often. We've learned how to make a living but not a life. We've added years to life, not life to years. We've been all the way to the moon and back, but have trouble crossing the street to meet a new neighbor. We've conquered outer space but not inner space. We've done larger things but not better things. We've cleaned up the air but polluted the soul. We've conquered the atom but not our prejudice. We write more but learn less. We plan more but accomplish less. We've learned to rush but not to wait. We built more computers to hold more information to produce more copies than ever, but we communicate less and less. These are the times of fast foods and slow digestion, big men and small character, steep profits and shallow relationships. These are the days of two incomes but more divorce, fancier houses but broken homes. These are the days of quick trips, disposable diapers, throwaway morality, one night stands, overweight bodies and pills that do everything from cheer to quiet to kill. It is a time when there's much in the showroom window and nothing in the stockroom. A time when technology can bring this letter to you and a time when you can choose either to share this insight or to just hit delete. So remember to spend some time with your loved ones because they're not going to be around forever. Remember to say a kind word to someone who looks up to you in awe because that little person soon will grow up and leave your side. Remember to give a warm hug to the one next to you because that is the only treasure you can give with your heart and it doesn't cost a cent. Remember to say I love you to your partner and your loved ones, but most of all mean it. A kiss and an embrace will mend hurt when it comes from deep inside of you. Remember to hold hands and cherish the moment, for someday that person might not be there again. So give time to love, give time to speak, and most importantly, give time to share the precious thoughts in your mind. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts on the essay in the comments below. However, this is just one way to look at modernization. We have immensely benefited from technological development, and many human lives have been improved, which is what we're calling progress. The work of Steven Pinker will give the opposing perspective to the essay I narrated. At the same time, there has been massive cultural and environmental destruction, and not all of this loss is measurable. The reason I created this video was to set the stage for my upcoming work on case studies of modernizing places and cultures. So stay tuned by subscribing to the channel with a click below and please share this video with your friends. Thanks a million for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.